Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is me, Raznak, and today we're going to do some farm sim life hacks. That's right, we're going to do a few little tips and tricks that I have uh, kind of found out why I've been playing the game. Uh, these are not my ideas at all. Um, I've seen other people do this on servers and I was like, wow, this these are really good ideas. And I didn't know about them, so you may know may, may not know about them. Some of you are going to know about this stuff. You know, it's a lot. There's a lot smarter people than me out there. So we're on uh, Ravenport. We're just going to do a little testing. So farm hack number one. We're going to show how to spray for weeds before there are any weeds. Um, just to show you real quick, I have no mods installed at all. The only thing that's installed is the Mahindra. Um, that came with the pre-order and the Anderson DLC. That's the only thing I have enabled. So this doesn't require any mods. So let's take a look here. I was just going to show you real quick that I have uh, right now plant growth on slow. Uh, let's see, where's the weeds? Weeds are on. There we go. Uh, so what we're going to do is the trick from this, and I learned this from Maverick uh, Maverick Gamers uh, over in the Discord channel. I play on a multiplayer server with him, and he told me that you could spray for weeds before there are weeds. And the trick is, so as you see here, we have unfertilized planted ground, right? So it won't work on this. Um, as far as I know, you have to have a, a changed soil state. So it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that the ground's getting darker where we spray fertilizer. Everybody who plays farm sim knows the difference between, um, you know, fertilized and unfertilized ground. One's a little darker. There's a little change. So what we're going to do is we went ahead and we're going to drop that there. All right. So you can clearly see the line between the two fields right where my tractor's sitting. One of those is sprayed with fertilizer and the other one isn't. Well, once you have a fertilized state showing and you can do this by either spraying unfertilized ground or planting that puts down fertilizer because it'll put a fertilized state in as you plant then you can grab your herbicide which is right here and this one this fancy dancy little sprayer and you can um, show you this you can spray as it unfolds Slowly, slow. Yeah, I know this is actually kind of fast. Real life, these things are even slower, I think. From what I've seen on the tube. Okay, so now you go behind a fertilized state, and if we watch as we spray, it'll change the ground state back to uh, a normal ground state. And we'll fast forward time and we'll test this. We'll test it live. That way you can know I'm not full of it. All right. So we'll cut our engine off and we'll start folding that up. And what we're going to do is we'll turn plant growth to normal, make sure weeds are on, and we will crank up the clock. Okay guys, as you can see, it worked. Our plan worked. You could we where we we sprayed before anything came up. 
an after. And I've tried this a few different ways, and I cannot. Uh, here we'll get that way you can kind of see the difference. Um, I've I've tried it just spraying it, um, but you had to have a changed ground state. So how we had the fertilized state, and it changed from dark to light, uh, and that the game registers that as being treated for weeds. Um, if you don't have that changed ground state, it will not work. Um, as far as I can tell. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, tell me. But I have tried different ways, and I can't get this to work. Um, but yeah, here we'll pull up the map real quick, and you can... Uh... Oh, I better... Sh let me slow down the clock. There we go. Um, we'll go down here to our little field 26. And you can see. You can see where we treated and where we didn't treat. And the weeds stayed away. And they'll stay away until you harvest. And then it resets. Must have missed a spot over here. But yeah, that's that's life or farm hack number one. And if you're feeling really fancy, you could do this. See? <laughs> that's the it's perfect. Fertilize and weed at the same time. It's amazing. You can see as the ground state changes, that's what the game is registering as treated. Kind of helps you visualize it a little better. A little dark area between the two. All right. Okay, farm hack number two, it's really simple, and it's really silly, and a lot of people know about it, but I didn't for a while, and there may be some of you that don't know. Did you know that you can unload directly into your silo without a tipper? Ta-da! See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that for months until someone told me that. I was like, oh, I have a little bit of crop left in. I need to go get my tipper. They're like, just put it in your silo. I'm like, how? I need a tipper. They're like, no, you can just pipe it right in. And I was like, what? And my, you know, poof, my mind blown. There you go. You just unload it directly into the silo. Handy, huh? All right. Now, with this farm hack, um, uh, this is going to be a live test because I know this worked in 17, um, but I haven't tried it yet in 19. I really haven't. Um, and I was like, well, you know what? I'm making this video. I'm going to give it a shot. So what we have is our chicken coop here, and we fed our chickens. And you're looking. They're 100% cleanliness. They have plenty of wheat and barley. And what I did is I took straw, and I put it in the fill plane where it gets dirty. And I want to see if that blocks it from getting dirty. So this is kind of like an animal cheat. I know this is ugly, but you know, say you're say you're busy and you can't get to cleaning your animals all the time, say you don't want to clean your animals all the time. Maybe you're playing on a server um, that runs 24-7 and you're going to be away for a few days and you don't want your animals to stop producing. So i tell you what we're going to do. Let's uh, speed this up and we'll, we'll let this run fast here real quick and see if this works. And if not, then we can say failure on my part. So we'll call this farm hack number three, maybe. <laughs> Still at 100%. Productivity says 99 though. That's just probably the game being the game. Cleanliness is still 100. I just have the small chicken coop, so it's a hundred chickens. And see, they're consuming, consuming wheat and barley, but there's none ending up on the ground. And if this works, this should work for any animal, any animal type. You should be able to put straw down. Uh, you should in any of the feed areas to block the game from dropping uh, the dirty. Um, this is really nice, especially for console players, because I know you guys don't have the clean animals mod. 
uh, PC players, we get we get a lot more mods. It's just nature of of the the platform, and we can we get the clean animals mod, which there's a mod that actually does this for us, so we don't have to put straw now. You can still see 100% clean. We have eggs, so they're producing, they're eating, but they're not making a mess. We'll let this run a little bit longer. Okay, we fast forwarded time um, hours. Uh, at least a good six hours. Let's, so let's take a look. Yep, they they ate. They're eating. They're producing eggs, but still our cleanliness is at 100%. So that's a quick, easy way to make it where you don't have to clean animals. I know it's ugly, um, but it works. <laughs> you know, kind of like a lot of things in life. Maybe ugly, but at least it works. So we got our eggs there, under chickens. There you go. That's a nice way to make sure your animals stay clean and not have to worry about it. All right, on to the next one. In case you guys were wondering if that worked or not, we have weeds. No weeds. Weeds. No weeds. I'll show you on the map here. You can see the area that we've fertilized and uh, weeded. So we sprayed the fertilizer in front of the tractor and sprayed the herbicide behind it, and it worked. Works great. All right, I'm not going to demonstrate this one because I don't really, really feel like cutting down a bunch of trees and loading it. But just for you guys who like to do manual logging, if you're not good with the crane and you can't get these silly log forks to work, which I can't to save my life. I'm horrible with them. I can't get that one to work. I can't get this one to work. I can't get this one to work. But what is pretty handy and works really well for logs is this, the manure fork. Surprisingly, it works really well with the logs. What I do is I throw it on a telehandler. I throw the, the manure fork on the telehandler and it works really, really well. I, like, I, didn't, I just didn't want to do it. Take my word for it. They work great for trees. Uh, it's easier to get underneath it, uh, kind of grab the grab the trees, um, and if you it works it works very very well compared to the in-game log forks, which are complete failures. Um, the only way I can get these log forks to work is I have to build a backstop and push the trees up against it and kind of ram the log fork under it and then scoop it. And as for this thing, I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> and there's people that make it look so easy, the cranes. I, I have no idea. I'm horrible with them. Maybe I should practice more. But that's, uh, that's not really a farm hack, but a little tip. And now, time for our last one. Okay, this last one is something I actually figured out by accident the other day and I've confirmed it with other people. I was like, oh wow, did you know you could do this? And they're like, yeah Raz, we've known that for a while. Um, again, a lot of this stuff you may know about, I don't know much about it. I've just kind of figured it out. So what I did here is I put my animal pen down and I did, uh, I put in a bunch of sheep. You can see we've got 80 sheep here. Uh, there's an I just I tested it real quick to make sure it still worked. So we have uh, 279 liters of water. So they need water. We really don't. I, I it's it's a pain if it is for me to cart water back and forth. I don't know. I'm thinking with modern technology there should be a little spigot here. I turn it on and it works. And we had that in 17. We had the water trough mat, add on, and you could just turn it and it watered your animals. And you could do that every so often and it worked great. Now this. I did a horrible job of placement. I got a little dirt in their water trough. But what you do is you put the water trigger close to the water trough. And by doing so, you can fill and empty into the trough at the same time. So you kind of create a bridge between the two pieces. Um, and it's really, really handy. And you don't have to use this water tank. This is just the in-game tank. And sorry. You have to have the Place Anywhere mod. I can't get this to get close enough without the Place Anywhere mod. Now, there may be um, a, like a, a different mod, like a maybe another water trigger that's smaller that you can get close to this, and you may be able to get this to work on console. 
but without the place anywhere mod I can I couldn't get this to work in this configuration but try it out see if you can figure it out um, but if you have PC you can do the place anywhere this works handy so literally you just jump in here and we'll pull up our handy dandy thing and we'll hit start filling and you can see our tanks filling up and then we'll hit I to start emptying and you can see at the bottom it's filling up faster than it's emptying but if we go over here to our sheep we can just watch it climb it's just climbing and climbing and climbing and you can see it's taken a long time for this water tank to fill up down here in the bottom it's hard to see um, but you can see and we're filling up the water without having to drive back and forth to get different tank loads I mean, we're up to 13,000, which is more than this tank holds. So there have been a couple trips. It's filling, it's filling, it's filling, it's filling. There you go. And it's full. And then the tank will finish filling up. And that's how you fill the water without um, having to run back and forth all the time. And there's a lot of great little mods, especially for PC, I know. Sorry, folks, I don't play console, so I don't know what's available for you guys. But there's a little, like a little water hyd hydrant trigger, and you can put it. Um, you can place it just almost in the fence, um, especially with the place anywhere. Like you literally could put your water hydrant right here and you could fill an empty at the same time. And it's really, really handy. And that was a little hack I actually discovered the other day and confirmed it with another one of the players. And like I said, he was, I think he was laughing at me because he was like, well, it took you long enough to figure that out. All right. And that's the last hack of the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. And, uh, you know what we need? need? Just because this is the only time I can find an excuse to use these, is we're going to, um, had to sorry all right so i hope you enjoyed these hopefully this helps you out with your gameplay again none of them are realistic but you know if you're having time, a tough time getting some stuff done we've got the fertilizer hack we've got the clean animals life hack farm hack slash blah 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 and we have the water one remember the manure forks rate work great and if you didn't know it you can empty your harvester right into your silo all that stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you know of any other farm hacks, put them in the comments. Share them with the other viewers. Help the farm sim world. Until then, and say bye, gnomes. They don't talk. They're just stationary. These things are kind of creepy. Okay. Kind of creepy. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye.